guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody is having an amazing day today. As you read by the title, we are finally going to be reviewing the Glam Light Dirty Martini palette that came out with the Happy Hour collection. Now, I did buy all four of the palettes. I believe these retail for $35 a piece, and I believe the bundle deal for all the eyeshadow palettes was $79. $89 if you wanted the shaker. I do have my martini here with me while we review this palette. So, who made it a little stout. So we'll see what happens by the time this is all done. Okay, so these are such cute, cute packaging. I do wish that they had made um, the lid or the bottle to where it would actually clasp back together because when you sit it down it has a tendency to just open itself and I would hate for it to fall and crack and bust that would suck but we're gonna go ahead and go over this anyway so you take it off and your palette is inside now this is the first collection like this that glam light has done I am an avid glam light lover I do own every palette that they have come out with um, I can't help myself <laughs> So when you open it, it does have a rather cute mirror. And then those are the colors. Super green colors. Gold, browns. There's a pop of blue. Don't know what we're going to do with that, if we're going to use that at all. It does have the imprint of the olives and the martini. On the back, it does have nutrition facts, which I think is super cute. Really goes along with the whole ordeal. Um, they did great. So let's go ahead and get in here and do an eye look. I am going to be using the Glam Light Icing Eyeshadow Base in the color, what is this, Classic Vanilla is what I'm going to be using on my eyes. So I am a little late to get this out, but better late than never. I always say that. So let me know down in the comments if you bought these palettes or if you bought any of the palettes. From this collection now I will say I do have some glitter left over I did wear my Tati Beauty palette um, <laughs> so there's glitter all over my face even though I've washed it quite a few times it is a sad day Tati Beauty is closing their doors there will not be a number two palette uh, I am glad that I did or was able to purchase mine I did not get it through Tati Beauty, I, of course, bought mine through Macari. I paid twice what it was worth, but I'm super glad that I have it in my collection. If you did not pick up that palette, you really missed out on a really great palette. So, I do hope that you can find it somewhere. Um, Macari, Poshmark, wherever. Um, it's a super, super beautiful palette well worth the money um the way she did it was just beautiful but we're not talking about that um we are doing the glam light palette so let's get back on that uh greens i love greens i do have green eyes although online i know it looks like i have blue eyes but they are green so i love green eyeshadow i think it looks really well on me and this palette you could wear to the office. Um, very cohesive to an office setting type colors. So do comment down below. Let me know if you love Glam Light. If you've never used Glam Light. What's your thoughts on Glam Light? Um, People either love them or hate them, and I don't know a whole lot that don't like them. So, I'm always interested in what y'all have to say about it. Oh, there's so much glitter. Such a pretty palette, but man, it leaves glitter, and I even use tape to get it off. So, tells you how good it is. Okay, so we got our eye base on. I do like their eye base. Um, I did buy it in the white frosting also, but I don't like that one nearly as well as I like this classic vanilla. So let's see what we want to do. I think I'm going to take the color. 
Mm. Let's see. I think I'm going to take the color Dirty Martini itself, and we're going to start with that. I am going to take it on the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush. This is the JH41. And if you can hear my heater, I do apologize. It is cold. We were under freeze warning last night, and it hasn't gotten much warmer. So, if you can hear it, I do apologize. It's just beginning to look a lot like winter. At least feel like it. So it does have pigment, which I knew it would. There is a little kick up in the pan. Doesn't bother me, but I know that it does bother some people. I feel that if there's kick up in the pan, it's good quality. But again, that's just my personal opinion. Is anybody else a dirty martini drinker? Do you drink it with vodka? Do you drink it with rum? I'd love to know. I do mine with vodka. Um, I'm not really a drinker, but when I do drink, dirty martini or a screwdriver are my drinks of choice. Like I said, whew, I did make that one just a little strong. Ah, so I'll be sleeping good tonight. <laughs> Okay, so there's that first color. You can definitely see it. It did blend out really well, very effortlessly. Now I'm going to go into the green olive color, which I hate to destroy the pan, but I can't use it if I don't get in there. <laughs> I'm going to stick that just a little bit under where I just stuck that other Dirty Martini color. That's a beautiful color. Beautiful, beautiful color. Oh, love that color. Ah, oh, such a pretty color. How is everybody's Halloween? It is already November. I can't hardly believe it. I don't know where the year went. It has just flown by this year. I think after last year of being stuck in the house all year, being able to actually go out this year, it's just, it's went so quickly. So there is the green olive color. Again, it did blend into the dirty martini color very well. There is very little kick up. I am going to go into garnish just a little bit. And I'm going to stick that right here. Just to give it a little bit more dimension of a different green. They are blending very well. I love Glam Lights formula almost as much as I love my Jeffree Star. As you can tell, I uh, can't help myself. <laughs> I just can't. Between the formula and the packaging, uh, Glam Light takes my money every time. Every time. Okay, so there is that. Let's blend that out a little bit. There are 15 colors in each palette, so for $35 for the whole palette for one, I think you're getting a very good deal. Okay. Now I'm going to go into Dry Vermouth. That one's a little bit more powdery. Has a little bit more kick up than the other ones have so far. That 
that's a super pretty green too. did not want to stay though so let's try that again if anybody is interested Samantha's doing very well with her pregnancy um, she just had her first ultrasound everything looks good for a minute she was sick a lot um, she was losing weight but she is doing better um, you remember the first time you were pregnant? It, uh, it takes some getting used to. Alright, now I'm going to go into this brown color called Extra Dirty. And we're also going to stick that. I stuck it in the Bocatini color. We're also going to stick that out there on the outer V2. That's a pretty color also. It does have some fallout, which is why I wanted to do my eyes first. But like I said, as long as you work with your palette, all that fuss, you don't have to fuss about it. Just learn to do it a different way. Do your eyes first. Put some powder down. Whatever you got to do, the colors and the look will definitely be worth it, as you can see. Okay, so there is that so far. Alright, let's pick a lid color. I kind of want to do the Vacatini and the On the Rocks. This is Vacatini and On the Rocks. I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So I have learned a new hack. Um, anybody that does cut creases, if you suck at them like I do and your lines are never straight, uh, Glam with Suzanne had a little hack of using your eyelash curler and that has been such a tremendous help for me so that's what I have been doing if you have a problem cutting your crease you can try it let me know what you think about it but it's been working well for me so I think it's a great hack I mean look at that <laughs> I couldn't have done that any better free-handed so I just take my eye base primer and put it on either side of whichever way I'm doing. Put it along the rim. And then just stick it to your eye. And as you've seen, it's great. Uh-oh. Okay. So, there is my cut crease so far. I'm going to fill that in.
So there is my cut crease. Um, I think it's amazing. Uh, great hack, like I said, for people that aren't very good at cutting their crease. It works amazing for me. And I will continue to do that because it does work for me. So I'm going to take that gold Locatini color and we are going to put it out here. It's like a green yellow shimmer. Boogie's dreaming. Chloe! It's okay. Their shimmers are fabulous. They're wet, metallic, I mean, just beautifulness. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop there and then put the On the Rocks on the rest of it. Oh, that's a pretty color too. <laughs> so that gives you just a little bit of blue, a bluish green shift, which goes perfect into that Vacatini color. Oh, that's so pretty. So there is that so far. All right, so I'm going to pause y'all, finish the rest of my face, and then I will be back to talk more about this palette and how I feel about it, so. Okay guys, so here is my finished look. I think it came out rather pretty. Um, I love the green. So here is the palette, all swatched, all the colors. Super, super pretty. I know that some of them are not very good swatches, but uh, we are close to being done with our martini. Actually, I think I'm I'm pretty much done with my martini. But as far as the Glam Light Dirty Martini palette, I loved it. It's super cute, super pretty. Um, you can get some neutral looks out of there. Green, little pop of blue, shimmer pop of blue. I, I love this palette. I will be using this palette from time to time. Like I said, I have all over my teeth. Um, the only thing I wish she'd have done different was put a clasp on the container itself. Kind of like the little, this is a Revlon cream shadow. But the little, that, it's weird that it actually stays shut when you set it down because like I said it does have a tendency of just opening so that's really my only complaint with these palettes do comment down below let me know which one you'd like to see me do next I will tell you on my face I did end up end up using the Uma flawless in real life skin perfecting foundation and my color is honey honey t2 I use the Jeffree Star Sour Ice for my highlighter on my lips. I use the Lizzie McGuire Delicious Blush for my blush. I use the Jeffree Star Velvet Trap in Grave Digger for my lip color, which went very well with the green look. Um, with a little of the Sour Ice on top of it, made it a, a greenish olive color. So the Marc Jacobs Mascara. The Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, for my eyebrows. And then the Lovecraft Beauty Bronzer Palette for just a little bronzing. So, 
Glamlight did amazing on this. Um, I did enjoy my cocktail. I am very much done with that cocktail now. I hope you enjoyed the video. I do want to say thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. I know that there are a gazillion reviews on this palette already. So I do thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to come and watch what I had to say about this palette. Comment down below. Let me know if you have this palette. Let me know if you bought the bundle. Are you a Glam Light lover? What do you think about the formula? If you're new here, hi, I'm Becca. Nice to meet you. I'm so glad that you stopped by. If you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. Hit the bell, set it to all, give me a like, and leave a comment down below. I love getting to know y'all and talking more with you so we can have a conversation down there. Like I said, do be kind. Negative comments will be deleted. Um, I don't deal with the drama. I don't want it. I don't need it. It won't be allowed here. So until the next time, guys. Thanks for taking a few minutes to spend your day with me. I love y'all. Stay beautiful. And remember, nothing is impossible. Even the word itself says I'm possible. Till next time.